Chris here from Video Maker with another Q&A session. Sean writes, I'm shooting on a Canon 7D and experience a lot of noise or grain in my video. Why is that and how can I fix it? There's three major reasons why. One, on a 7D you have a crop sensor. Unlike the 5D that has a full sensor, larger the sensor, the less light you need to expose correctly. Uh, second is your exposure or your ISO. The higher the ISO, the more noise or grain you'll experience. And third is the compression or the Kodak that you're using to record with. And on the 7D, it's H.264, which although is a very good Kodak, it is compression nonetheless. Here's really the meat of it, how to fix it. We're gonna be taking a look today at uh, Red Giant Denoiser 2 and uh, Boris Continuum Complete Noise Reduction. Do note, it's best to watch this in full screen 1080 because the smaller screen, the less noticeable the noise or grain is. All right, so here's our example video shot at F4 ISO 12,000. 800 with the goal of making noticeable noise. There would have been a much better exposure option when shooting this, but the goal of this was to show noise. So an extreme example was needed. Take a look at the black. See how it sparkles and dances? That's noise or grain. Before I add the plugins, the goal here is to quickly and simply remove the noise. Let's start by adding Boris Continuum Complete Noise Reduction. There are many different parameters and controls, but for this tutorial, we're going to use one of the presets. Click on FX Browser. This opens up the browser viewing window, click around and see what all the presets do. But because we planned this, uh, we're going to use suppressed noise in the darkness because after all, that's exactly what we are attempting to do. Click apply and boom, big improvement, right? The image still remains sharp, but still has noise or grain. And in most cases, most, if not all the noise would be removed. But because we made this clip with the goal of having noise, complete removal isn't possible, but a big improvement nonetheless. All right, so let's move on to doing the same with Red Giant denoiser 2. As you can see, not nearly as complex as BCC noise reduction. Denoiser 2 doesn't have presets, so we'll have to do this by braille. After using any plugin for a while, you begin to understand what the controls change, but when getting familiar with the plugin of any kind really, play with it a bit. Turn up each parameter all the way up, then all the way down, one at a time, to see what they do at their extreme. The default on denoiser 2 works really well, not nearly as sharp as BCC, but does a better job at removing noise. Here are the three noise reduction options we have here. One, the top one, which is the original clip. The second, which is BCC noise reduction. And the third, Red Giant Denoiser. There's uh, quite a wide range here. You can really see the difference in the two noise reduced clips. They do a good job at noise reducing, especially this really extreme example. All right, the proof is in the results. Although Boris noise reduction was sharper at three times the cost at $299, the cost effective choice is Red Giant's Denoiser 2 at only $99. However, the bigger price point with Boris comes with more parameters, so with more time, you might be able to really focus and get a better result. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment on this video, and uh, make sure to uh, follow the link below to sign up for our exclusive newsletter. I'm Chris from Video Maker. Till next time, thanks.